So in today's video guys uh, we're gonna have a look at a pair of uh, running uh, shoes for uh, short distances and uh, these ones are coming from Adidas and welcome back for a brand new review if you are new to the channel please make sure you're gonna subscribe you can also give me a follow on instagram to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days in today's video guys we're gonna have a look at this new pair of shoes from adidas so let's go ahead and take them out of the box which as you can see will come in your usual box which will reveal that this one will have some recycled content so let's go ahead and take them out so in today's video guys, uh, we're gonna have a look at this uh, new pair of shoes which will be the Adidas Web Boost Running and Lifestyle. for this uh, new uh, web uh, boost guys which was released uh, a couple of months ago but this time uh, we're gonna have a totally different upper and this one was released at least here in the UK in the first half of uh, September for a retail price of 140 pounds but this one guys uh, as you can see will have a very interesting upper which will have uh, to be honest a lot of uh, rubberized material so uh, let's go ahead and also do a breakdown of this one guys so as you can see for this upper we're gonna have a mix of uh, materials so underneath uh, we're gonna have a very breathable uh, mesh which will have uh, a lot of uh, holes for a very good breathability and on top of this mesh guys uh, we're gonna have this uh, rubberized material in two different uh, textures so covering the front part of the tobo section we're gonna have some perforation holes to give it some breathability of course but as you can see as we go now uh, to the mid foot uh, we're gonna have uh, a different mesh we're also gonna have your traditional three stripes which will be in this uh, grey color but this one guys will also be reflective as in for the actual lacing system guys you can see that this one will have a nice and interesting design with a lot of uh, stitchings so uh, for this one uh, we're also gonna have this uh, white uh, flat laces and underneath these laces guys uh, we're gonna have this uh, main uh, mesh material which will have these very big uh, holes and uh, on top of this stone guys we're also gonna have this uh, longer pull tab which will have some reflective hints on it and this one will also have this uh, rubberized uh, tag here at the top with the Adidas logo but this one guys as it will be a uh, one booty construction it actually doesn't have a moving uh, tongue so this one in my opinion it's gonna be slightly a bit harder to put them on at first at least for me personally when I've uh, put these uh, shoes on uh, I always have a very strange noise uh, which feels that uh, some of the stitchings are uh, breaking which uh, it was very strange but as we go inside guys uh, we're gonna have this uh, white uh, lining and uh, this lining uh, it's actually quite soft to the touch of course underneath we're also gonna have a very good amount of padding which will keep your foot quite good in place and as you can see at the bottom we're gonna have this uh, black insole which will have written also and plastic waste uh, here at the heel section but as you go outside of the heel section guys you can see that we're gonna have this uh, hard uh, plastic uh, counter heel support which I guess will give it some uh, support but this one as you can see will also have some big holes to have some breathability of course and uh, we're also gonna have this uh, pull tab here at the back which will also have this uh, three stripes in this gray color and now guys we can go to this uh, boost midsole which will be wrapped in this uh, stretch web uh, rubberized uh, material so this one in my opinion it's restricting slightly 
this flexibility of this boost midsole which in case you don't know it's one of the best in the world and as you can see here at the back of the heel section we also have this very big uh, adidas logo and the lettering and now guys we can finish with this uh, rubber outsole which uh, will be of course uh, the same material as this one that is wrapping this uh, midsole so this one uh, will also have a lot of boost exposed so most definitely i felt that this one it's letting this uh, shoe to flex more than a conventional one which will be all covered as in for the actual sizing guys for this one i went with my uh, tutu size which for me as i have a skinny fit this one fits me just fine but for normal fit uh, you should go with a half size up and that would be mainly because this uh, part here at the front uh, it's very pointy so most definitely this one will be too tight for you so I guess uh, for people with uh, wider fit guys uh, I would advise you to go with uh, at least a half size up or even try a full size up just to make sure that this one is not gonna be too tight for you so uh, to uh, wrap uh, things up guys uh, I really need to admit that this one uh, it looks uh, quite uh, futuristic and uh, it's uh, I would say interesting at least in my opinion but uh, having this uh, rubberized material used here for this upper I feel that this one uh, it's slightly a bit too stiff and even though we're gonna have a lot of uh, cutouts which will expose this uh, mesh material it's uh, still slightly a bit too stiff for me but at least uh, we're gonna have this uh, boost midsole which even though it's wrapped in this uh, stretch web it's still uh, gonna provide us with a decent uh, amount of comfort so uh, yeah guys uh, this was my unboxing and reviewing of this uh, new release for the adidas uh, web boost uh, running and lifestyle shoe i really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did uh, don't forget to press the like button maybe also subscribe to the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days and as always i will see you in my next one thanks for watching